Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Drew. Um, and today I am going to be talking about my hair's all messy. Going to be talking about my new camera supplies. So I ordered a camera off eBay, and that'll be edit it in as the second part to this video um later this week it's thursday now i get the camera probably saturday um but so i'm really excited <laughs> and was really excited to start getting content made so i went ahead and i'm gonna use my phone for this one since it shouldn't be too long in the video and we're gonna go over all the stuff i got for my new camera um we are going to start with um and i had to order almost everything because it was cheaper to order than like Walmart or Best Buy and we all know that saving money is good. <laughs> really for my camera, but I'll go over that in a minute. Here, cat, have a box. There will be a cat in that box by the end of this video. Batteries! It says Wasabi Power. They were $16, I think, on Amazon, like $15.99. I'm not an affiliate with any of these. And this isn't sponsored by any of these. I have no reviews to give on these. I haven't tried this yet. It says, our goal is 100% satisfaction. Reviews are always appreciated. It says there's a three-year warranty on that. Can't get my iPhone to focus. That's okay. Um, it can I got this set in particular. So my camera is coming with the battery that comes in it when you purchase it. Um, but it, I got this specific set because you can buy a single single replacement batteries but this one came with a charger and it pops out like that so you can plug it in to like an outlet um it's a dual prong that feels a little cheap but it is what it is this looks like oh an adapter i don't know what you would plug this into I'm assuming that this is, there's Asian writing on it. Do I recognize any of this? Uh, it looks like maybe there's some Japanese at the bottom, but I don't know enough to read it. Oh, here, adapter for using, make sure the voltage. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what country takes these. If you know what this is an adapter for, please let me know, because I didn't know it came with this, and I'm super excited, because who knows, maybe in the future, I'll go to this country and I don't have to buy an adapter. So that's neat. It also comes with a car adapter, which is super useful seeing as all the cool stuff to do around me is a little bit of a hike. Um, granted, I also have a power brick because it was cheaper to buy the brick than buy the car adapter for our switch. So we have a, we have like a power thing that makes like a, an outlet and for the cars. Um, but yeah, cool, came all tightly wrapped, so it'll fit my camera bag really nicely, which I will get to in a moment. Um, anyway, back to our charger adventures. Two batteries for the camera. I'll have to edit that around, maybe. Uh, but yeah, two batteries for the camera. I'm only gonna, uh, actually, I'll probably take them both out and put them in my camera bag. This is what they look like. Um replaces a specific type of battery it tells you what how to put it in it's got little arrows do not expose to high temperatures disassemble or short circuit uh it does look like maybe this charger i thought this charger held two at a time but it only holds one at a time and it just pops in there like that pretty easy it might be hard to get out if you've got big fingers but if you like use the side of your finger it came out really easily um, I will probably charge these and then put them in my camera bag so they're all ready to go if I ever need them. Um, 
and it has another one that's still in its box. So that's really nifty. I should never ever run out of battery life for my camera. So I'm gonna close that box up, put it with the other box, and the cat can play with it. I'm not gonna tear this open because that seems excessive. Um, I always hate that Amazon ships like this. They were all coming the same day. I don't know why they're in three different packages. I mean, I ordered a lot, but... Okay, yeah, so this big, huge, padded envelope. This huge, ginormous nonsense for this. <laughs> These are fuzzy covers to go on the microphone holes on my uh, camera to reduce wind noise so that I can take it outside and vlog with minimal wind noise, which is going to be awesome because we have some really cool things around here. Um, our local zoo is getting a dinosaur exhibit and I already have friends that are, we're plotting to go. These are supposed to be cuttable, so they'll be able to cut down to size. And they come with these little rings and there's way more here than you would need for one camera. And I think it was probably 20 bucks for this whole set. And I was like, these are going to last forever. Uh, it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it was honestly one of the best deals I could find on them. And there, I think was a coupon. I might be wrong on the price too. Um, so yeah, so those are going to live in my camera bag as well, obviously. And that is trash. And our final box, which I'm going to show you guys real fast. Uh, let me cover up my address. Uh, look at this tape. It's so like cheerful. Alright, so we've got three things in here. I'm going to start with the one that I was super excited about. And it is my SD card for the camera. The camera I ordered was used, so it doesn't come with an SD card. And I don't think new cameras come with SD cards. Um, this is the one that, it's the Extreme Pro by SanDisk. This is the one that I saw online was supposed to be one of the best. It's got 170 megabytes per second. I hope I said that right. Um, card reader for speeds up to whatever. So it's uh, 64 gigabytes just because I didn't want to spend the 30 for the 128. Um, I figured I'd see how this one did. If I need to buy another one, I need to buy another one. Um, but this should be plenty for right now. So uh, yeah, I've got that and... Um, so there's a free download to your subscription of Rescue Pro Dulux Recovery Software. It says it recovers images, videos, music, or just about anything. If you buy like a new SanDisk thing, I don't know what that fully entails. I will have to look it up and maybe in the second part of this video talk about it. It comes in a case which is nifty um i feel much less bad about taking it out of the package now so i will keep it in its case until my camera gets here and then it will live in my camera and camera bag uh, which we'll get to in a minute um what is this there's nothing on this to give me a hint as to what this is what is it oh wow this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. This is my grip that I got. Um, it's really basic. It was like $8. It's really light, uh, which is good for me because I'm in pain constantly. My joints don't like heavy things. Um, it's a pretty basic pistol grip um, just to help hold cameras steady and things. It's got this to help it screw into the camera, this like red thing that turns. It's really cheap, it's really basic. It looks like it can screw onto its own tripod, so you could extend this with something else or put something else that screws 
or does things like that with the, with this. I don't. But yeah, that um, I do have room for in my camera bag as well. Okay, so this might actually have to try to get returned. Um, this is a oh, there's like giveaways on their website. That's cool. There's like so much stuff in this box. We have the charger for it. It's just actually, it's not even. It almost looks like our switch charger. I kid you not. I don't know what to call this uh, charger type, but it comes with a non-universal charger, meaning I can only recharge this light with that, which is going to kill me because we lose cords all the time. Um, but this is a light and I will have to wait until Saturday when I get my camera to see how this is going to work. I don't think it's going to. I think I ordered this and was kind of not being smart about it. But we have a light. It came in a pretty sturdy box with a silica pack and instruction booklet. Um, I have another friend that vlogs. Maybe I'll see if she wants it and I can mail it to her while she's in the U.S. Um, if you haven't checked her out, go check out Elena today. She is an American that um, lives in India with her husband. She lives in Calcutta and she is a wonderful human being who I know in real life. And, um, she, she, her channel is just fantastic. She also just got a new camera and I watched her, her camera test video, uh, today and it was phenomenal. Okay. So moving on, um, this is the camera bag I picked up. It is on O N N um, from Walmart and it was, um, this is the DSLR camera, um, camera bag. So it's designed for cameras that use lenses, like detachable and exchangeable lenses. My camera is a point and shoot, so it doesn't have that, but it's a good, it's a good camera. It's recommended for vlogging. So, but I got this one, it was a little cheaper than their SLR camera case. And because I felt like it had more room for me to mess with, like I didn't feel like the pockets were as specified in size. Um, so actually we'll start here. It's got a back pocket that right now has um, the charger for my other light in it. Cause I realized at Walmart the other day, I was like, oh crap, I ordered the wrong light. So I got something cheaper. Um, and the receipt for the stuff I bought at Walmart so that if I need to return it, I can. Um, I have in it my other light, which is a phone. It's meant for phone vlogging. Um, the inside of this is this pocket. It came with the strap. The strap was folded up inside of it. Um, I just unfolded it and attached it and I do like it. It's one of the ones that are twisty. So you can't really get it too terribly tangled unless you really try. Um, this is the inside. As you can see, it's designed for a much bigger camera and lens space. The nice thing is, is this center divider can come out or like move whatever direction you need it to, to accommodate whatever organizational system you want. It's padded all the way around. Um, the back sides are Velcro. So again, that like back and like front or Velcro, so you can move that around. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much the camera haul. My camera came again, everyone. Can you believe it? My camera came. I'm so excited. Clearly this is a different day than my other videos. Like I said, I think I recorded those earlier this week. Today is now Saturday and my camera showed up. I'm so excited. All right, so it was like a whole adventure trying to find this too, because I, my email or text about the shipping on this said that it was at my mailbox. So I trekked the block to my mailbox because our mailbox isn't at our house. And it was at my back door. So I had to go to my partner's parents' house to check on their dogs because they're busy today. And I went, they live one way and my mailbox is the other way. So I went to their house first and then I looped around the main street, grabbed 
a letter that was in the mailbox got really salty that my package wasn't there and I can't see that door from the road. So I had to wait until I got back to our driveway to see my door and see that there was a box waiting. I got much less salty. Okay, opening. So they shipped probably flat rate. It's priority mail, maybe they didn't. They might've shipped by weight. Um, this person must sell a lot on eBay because they have like a thank you sticker on the packaging that was on top of it. And the box for the camera, I'm gonna make sure there's nothing else in here. And then packaging at the bottom, which is nice. So I'm just gonna tuck all that back and move the box out of the way. This is what the box looks like. Obviously it's been forced open a couple of times or had everything forced back in it and doesn't like close evenly. Um, it's got a bunch of these symbols on the back. Wi-Fi, Zeiss, full HD, HDMI, 4K. I don't even know. But this is my new camera. It's a Sony DSC-HX80. So it's a Cybershot camera. This is for sure the like the original box. It's still got like, barcodes and and everything on it. It just looks like they have been in and out of this box a couple of times, which is okay. There's some scratches on the box. Again, I'm not too worried. The box can be beat up. It's the camera that matters. So it comes with the like warning thing still attached to the box, which is kind of bent and has obviously been shoved in and out. Um, we have a plug, a two prong plug with removable USB that I assume at one point had been in packaging, like original packaging and is no longer, which is understandable. Just a micro USB, pretty universal. I'm gonna wait to get to the camera. It comes with what looks to be most, if not all of the original paperwork, which is nifty. So this appears to be Spanish version of the Wi-Fi connection packet, um, which might be useful, so I'm gonna leave that out. Uh, US and Canada warranty instruction manual in English, instruction manual in sp French, Spanish. I think it's French and Spanish. I think it comes with English, French, and sp Spanish. I don't speak Eng French or Spanish very well. So um, I'm not able to be 100% certain on that. And then like a quick start guide that is in English, French, German. I don't know what the English translation of some of these are. I think that's Danish. So that's nifty that it comes with like all the languages for the quick start guide. And now the piece de resistance. Okay. I'm almost scared to open it because when it's like this, it's like Schrodinger's camera, right? Like there can be nothing wrong with it. It can be perfect and be broken at the same time while it's in the bubble wrap. But we're going to open it because I actually do want to get to it. So obviously I bought this used. I'm not that cool that I could afford this new. Um, it feels like an authentic product. I've handled one of these in stores. Uh, the screen needs clean. It, it needs just like some general cleaning. It looks like maybe some dust buildup has happened. Um, but on first glance, I don't see any cosmetic damage. Like, so there's like no scratches or chips in the general housing for this, which is a good sign. Cause I feel like that's one of the first things to break on cameras. Um, there's maybe a little tiny bit of wear on let me see if I can get this centered. On this little part here that goes around the movie button, but it's hard to tell, so I'm gonna go with maybe not. This is the LCD, it needs cleaned. 
but it is not scratch. There's like a couple maybe hairline scratches. Like if you tilt it, you can kind of see, but like nothing substantial or that I would be worried about. So I'm going to make sure it flips up okay. Yeah, so the hinge on this is still stiff, meaning it doesn't try to flop around. So it flips up nicely, which is exciting. Um, the viewfinder pops up, which is good. And it's turned my camera on now that I have popped the viewfinder up. Oh, that's really, I don't know that I like the viewfinder. I don't know how you're actually supposed to use the viewfinder on digital cameras. <laughs> Mine, I've always just used the screen. But it looks like a decent quality image through the viewfinder. I can see it from like here. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to move it closer or not. There's a bunch of letters and stuff at the bottom, but I can't tell you what they are viewing it from the distance that makes the picture clear. It's got like a, it says like pull on it. And I don't know, I never could figure out what that was. So I'm gonna have to look into that. So I'm going to just push this back down and it shuts back off. Um, let's see, let's find the, what's this? I think, oh, there's maybe a little bit of damage or something right here. I don't know if I'll even be able to get it. You can see like this red paint, that could be a factory thing or it could be it's not coming off, so I feel like maybe the factory got paint there. It feels a little rough, so I think that maybe they, maybe it's nail polish or something, and um, they were like pulling this up a little forcefully. It says multi, it looks like just like a standard. That might be where I plug it in. It looks like it fits this. Yeah, so cool. Alrighty. There's a micro HDMI on the bottom. So let's open the battery case. Opens really well. Uh, obviously no SD card. I bought it without one, which I'm sure you all are aware. You just kind of have to flip this little thing and your battery pops out and it's a Sony battery. Um, it appears to have a little bit of a charge at least to turn the camera on and off. And then you push it down the blue thing that keeps it there, pops back. Room for the SD card that I should probably put in it. Well, I have this open. Maybe I'll wait and make sure it. Okay, so here's a pet peeve I didn't realize is I don't think it's the camera. I think, well, I don't think it's because it's used. You have to manually pull the lock back over when you're closing this. So it's kind of like a two finger thing. You got to hold it closed and slide the switch over to lock it. All right, let's turn it on and make sure the LCD works. Oh yeah, it does. It looks really good. Um, right now it's in movie mode. Yes, there's no card. I'm aware. It's got, I'll flip it up so you all can see. So obviously the screen flips around, um, but it's got sound input going and some other things and like frame rates and things. So, but the screen looks really good. I'm very pleased with how the screen looks. I'm very pleased with the quality now that it's like in the house, like at Best Buy the lighting was really bad. So like, I felt like when I was trying these out, they had one of these on display and I was like messing with it. And I felt like I couldn't get a good image because the lighting was bad. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to play with this, but yeah, everything on it seems to work, work fine. I'm already familiar with kind of how to operate the menu just because I messed with the one at Best Buy. It's all I figured it out. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty pleased. It's got a screw on the bottom for a tripod, which is useful. I've got my phone on my tripod, my desktop tripod right now, but I've got my, I have like one of the flexible ones and then I've got like the handheld one. Um, so yeah, overall I'm really pleased, you know, like the battery came fully charged, which I thought was super nice of her. So basically all you had to do to get this to use was to put the SD card in it. 
Well, I'm pretty pleased. Everything on it looks good. The lens looks good. It maybe has a little bit of dust on it, but like everything else looks good. Like I'm not getting any distortion in my images from either the LCD or the lens. I don't even see hairline scratches on the lens. So that's really exciting. So yeah, I am, can I, oh, and I can zoom like really far. Let's see, I can't even get you all back in, back in focus. There we go. And it auto focuses really well, actually. Like up until like a certain point, I think, and then you're like too close to it. And even then it's auto focusing. So that's really cool. I'm very pleased with this. As you can see, it gets, when this is it fully zoomed so it's pretty long comparatively to when it's like normal so that's something to be aware of like spatial requirements for your zooming but yeah I'm really pleased I'm really happy with this so my next videos will be filmed with this so yeah I'm very excited so I'm going to go mess with that and then probably start uploading videos. So far I'm a fan. It's a little hard for me to hold this like with this grip. My granted my arms are really weak today because I did a lot yesterday and so that means all my joints today are like non-existent. Um but yeah I'm really happy. So I just spent like a little over an hour getting everything set up, messing with all the settings, filming the unboxing video going to get it from the mailbox. <laughs> so yeah, I am actually really thrilled. The quality on this screen looks really good. I don't have any makeup on today, so that's questionable, but I'm happy so far. So I'm probably going to finish filming this, checking it out. Might film some little blurbs to input to test it out like outside because I have to go check a uh, the dogs again. <laughs> um, maybe I'll film some birds. Who knows? I'm going to take it with me though and get some shots outside. So just stay tuned and I'll get that for you guys. Hi everyone. I'm outside now. Um, I'm definitely going to have to get a longer um, grip. I think. I think my arms are too short to do like self-filming with this grip. Um, my porch is a disaster. Um, this is the shady part of my house right now. It's still pretty early in the day. It's about 11 a.m. our time. And yeah, so I decided to, I took some pictures that I'll insert of some flowers and some stuff. And my dog's out here with me. I'm going to take some video and pictures of him and insert them. Yeah, I'm really happy with like the aperture focus on this is what I've got this in right now. I'm really pleased with it so far. I watch editing me is going to pop in here and be like, no, it was terrible. Or she's going to be like, yeah, it was great. Yeah, so, so far I'm really, really happy. I'll be quiet for a minute. You can try to hear the birds. Oh, they were so pretty right when I said that. Thank you, birds. That was so polite. We've got a big old tree back there. I keep looking at myself in the, the thing, which is probably bad, bad camera angles. But like, anyway. Okay, well, I think my dog is ready, so I'm gonna flip this around. And we're gonna see how it does. I'm gonna flip my screen down first. Okay, let's see. Hopefully that was smooth. I won't know until I get to editing. Bentley? Bentley? Are you enjoying the sunshine? Would you like to say hi to the internet? You're a black dog. You shouldn't be hiding in the shadows. Would you like to go exploring instead of being in the fence? Come on, let's go. Yeah, so, so far I'm really happy with it. I'm going to go and 
plug it in and see about transferring all the footage I shot today and then editing it and splicing it together and making it worthwhile. And then I'm probably gonna nap. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and hit subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys next video. Bye.